Hello everybody, and welcome back to uh, kind of the final reveal of the updated mailroom that we did set up. So as you recall, we did choose, let's see, where where where'd they go? Death Killer. Um, they were the one selected to be the, essentially the secretary. Um, and of course had to make some changes to their home to allow for the, the sorting process to, to continue. And it ended up being f far more extensive than I thought, and there was definitely a lot of overthinking going on. But let's go ahead and take a look. So uh, for now, what's going on is, uh, of course, still have my post office at the uh, the big buffalo eating Gmail. Um, that's not going away. What will happen is that mail will be moved over here, and then it will be sorted. And so for now, this will just be kind of a staging area. Uh, but also, since we are in the slums slash pauper area, which is so densely populated, uh, if you want for the time being, there is an option to actually drop the mail off. So let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, so first thing, this door will then become a normal door that you can interact with. It's just to kind of keep people out. Uh, but it's off to the side of the house. And as we come down here, so there are lines. You never know. Maybe it'll be Christmas time. People will be busy. Um, but all you have to do write whatever chest you want to put in, or write whatever note you want to put in there, and drop it in the chest. Poof! It will then go ahead and get delivered. So, three lines here for your convenience. Uh, let's see here, a little glass overlook, the uh, interior, so not to spoil too many things. Uh, this is a writing station, which apparently appears to be open for the public. That may or may not be changing. And as we come down the stairs, wait, what's the sign? Harry Potter's first home actual set verified. Holy cow. So, let's go in here. Yep, there's the bed. Super cramped. Nothing to really see. Uh, pretty sure uh, Hedwig would be kind of chilling right up here. Uh, this, is, this is pretty cool. Not every house has Harry Potter sets inside of them. So... You, you guys are lucky. You get to walk by this little piece of history all the time. Harry Potter resided here, I believe, till the sixth book. Make sure that he was protected by his mom's little death spell. Uh, so there we go. All right, so this is where most of the fun stuff will be happening. This is going to be kind of like a, uh, it's a little reading room. Um, as you can see, currently we do have a penguin exhibit. Uh, so just kind of, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, penguin exhibit, yep, hold on. Let me, let me give the penguin some fish. Uh, no, we want raw. Penguin, raw fish, there we go. There we go, penguin, and there's your fish. All right, that'll keep him happy. Uh, so, got a little reading area, maybe we'll have some little gatherings. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how we'll work that out, but I think we could do something. And, of course, the roar of the fireplace. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what the inspiration for the snowman was, but it, it's flanked by snowmen. So, that's just kind of one of those things. Uh, let's see, what else do we got? Nice little open ceiling. I like, I like the open concept. So, that's nice and, nice and airy. Now, let's kind of go back. This is sort of a behind-the-scenes where the magic happens. So basically your mail is going to get come down into here. It's going to then get sorted into, good lord, all of these chests. So, good news. All the stuff you guys have been sending me, yeah, I've been kind of cherry-picking questions, things like that. Uh, well, guess what? Since we have somebody sorting it for me, I don't have to figure it out. This is makes everything easier. So if you guys want to send mail on, you know, whatever the, whatever it is, guess what? I'll be able to actually kind of find it and look at it. Now, of course, there's no guarantee that I'm going to read it, and good lord, there is a lot of stuff that gets sent. Um, but, hey, this is uh, going to be a fun way. So what I'll probably do is just pick different categories, uh, see what we can do. So let's just kind of go through them. So love notes. Um, I don't know. We might need to make, like, two or three more chests for that because I'm sure there'll be just so many of those. Um, but as you can see, look at all these. You're the best. Uh, I, of course, trust Death Killer there. Uh, legendary stories. This is going to be a good thing for. Was that Harry Potter? Uh, 
Harry Potter number one. Ooh, I'm curious about that. Not going to read it just yet. Uh, fix my problem. Roman, go die. This should be empty. Oh, it is empty. Woo! Q&A, which is still probably my favorite. Uh, wish list? Yeah, just, you know, hey, people ask for things. Um, doesn't mean they're going to get them, but you know what? What's the worst that happens is someone says no. Uh, this will be ads. There's a really amazing amount of ads. It's kind of funny. Uh, newspapers, which I do really appreciate because a lot of, like, the Danky News was ridiculous. Uh, let's see. Invited to blah blah with a date. Uh, things I could see, things like plays people want to put on. Um, hang out with me. It scares me just a little. Uh, want to be a squire. Yeah, that's that's a fair question to ask. Uh, random, help. Someone needs to go to jail, so court cases. You guys want to uh, bring this out. This is sort of like a suggestion box. Um, and of course, terrible books, terrible books, be a better writer. Nice little dumping area there. Uh, so let's see, what should we first grab? Hmm. You know, I've done a lot of q and I'm not going to do that. Please fix problem wish list. I want to look at please fix problem. Uh, no, wish list. All right. Oops. Let's get rid of these things. And boom, see? Look at this. It's going to be great. All right, so now let's close the door. Cause that's really how we do things. Uh, that is probably not something that needs to be there. And take a little seat over by the roaring fire. And guess what? We can now read some books. All right, here we go. Uh, Dear Lord Roman, hopefully your secretary won't dismiss this book thinking it's an ad or some other junk. Good start. I'm in need of some help. After visiting many restaurants, I've created the idea to use books as food. Uh, okay. They can describe the dish. Picture be named anything. It seemed like the perfect idea until I re realized it would be way too expensive. Then I realized using bookshelves, it could simulate eating the food, and you put it in the bookshelf. I would have I would have enough supply to pay for my business. Unfortunately, I live in Brickton, where bookshelves aren't available to buy. That's where I came, hoping you could bless me, Brickton, or the entire city of bookshelves available from the general good salesman. Thank you, founder and CEO of the Brickton Book Buffet. Very unique idea. Uh, I know a lot of people do want bookshelves, and especially now that uh, you can actually store books in them. Um, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to this one. We're gonna put this in the. Whoops! Don't want to put that in that pile. Uh, we're gonna save that one. Maybe maybe Santa will bring something nice. You never know. Totally opens myself up for horrible things. I I'm absolutely aware of that. By the way. Can we just look at that skin and just marvel at how amazing it is? Oh, oh, something I wanted to do. Uh, let me let me do this real quick before I get too distracted. All right, uh, let me go upstairs. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Bribes for. So, Roman, I ah, won't fit. Roman reads my book. All right, so here's the thing. That way, I need a different chest. There we go. Bribes. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, Death Killer is the one who is sorting my books. Now, I'm not saying that you should bribe death killer I'm just saying that if you did then you'd probably want to uh, you know make sure it's done because really I'm not sorting the books just throwing that out to you guys hopefully some of the more devious minded already thought this through uh, but no just throw that there okay an inquiry I'm writing to inquire for chance it might be someday possible oh my goodness uh, to buy things such as bookcases, bought bookcases, okay. Wait, hold on. Uh, miscommunication with the bank, I've been 8,000 nuggets instead of 40,000 gold. Seems I'm able to change the currencies back, and I can buy nothing but empty books with my now useless fortune. 
someday nuggets may also be used as currency as they are when buying books from the book. Huh. You know, I have no idea how the buying thing works. Uh, P.S. is asked Rob, but his boxes are full as heck. I doubt he'll be looking at his mail anytime soon since he hasn't so far. But you seem to have everything together thus far with the mail. Aha! See? Good call. Uh, I have zero influence on that. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how the currency system works. Um, also, keep in mind the server will be moving, and I have no idea how it's going to work um, at that point. Or maybe when this comes out, we'll have already moved. Who knows? Uh, sooner will be great, um, but don't have an ETA on that. Ah, uh, and then, yeah, I'm not sure how the economy part will work on that, but we'll find out once the move's done. Uh, dear Roman, is it possible to have some item frames for fancy seating? Uh, yeah. Oh, J Station 2! Awesome. Glad he's going with that name. Uh, it should be J Sano, right? Yeah, J Sano. Um, so, item frames can cause issues with lag on the server, so that's something that's not going to happen. Uh, It'd be awesome, it's cool, they can be custom, and we put them up randomly when I do, we do some of our things, but uh, on the scale of that you know, peasants would use them in, would just not work at all. Alright, ooh, is he went? Uh, he was at the, one of the guild houses, I forget which one. Uh, it's re oh, redacted probably. Um, I call for your A because we're looking at the current situation with the rebels. Rebels could hold an advantage over us due to their armor and weapons truly is the best time for lords to get rid of those pesky rebels, so I ask that you help Redacted by supplying weapons of our own. With your help, we should be able to defeat the rebels and keep the land in peace and harmony for time to come. Thank you for reading this. Uh, hmm. At some point, we're going to have to figure out what to do with this rebel situation. Uh, I like the, the spirit and the desire to try and stamp it out, uh, but right now, we'll just kind of have to hold pat a little bit. Uh, two lord... It's spelled wrong. <sighs> Makes me sad, guys. I don't know who Romaine is. That that's that's not me. Uh, but you're looking for bookcases. Yeah. You know what we're gonna do? Uh, wait. Here's what here's what's gonna happen. You didn't spell the name right. Boop. You go in the lava. Alright? Come on, people. Get the name right. It's bookcases. That's already been covered. Uh, Brickton Park. We would like the stone to be grass. Please change it. Okay, so Brickton Park is something where we made that fancy road out to connect to Town Hall. And then the plot next to it, which was totally awesome, decided to put up a park. Now, they couldn't have grass because they're Brickton, so they may do... I think they ended up using clay or stone. Um, and I saw that and was like, well, do you guys want this to be grass or not? And so this is their answer is, hey, change it to grass. Good news, we actually already did that. And as I'm recording this, that video would have already gone out where we turned it into grass and it looks totally awesome. Also, we put in some trees. Uh, we replaced those trees as well. So I think overall, that's a huge plus. Uh, Dear Lord Roman... You please come to militia training and holding cells. Us soldiers are doing everything we can in the fight, but we need your help. Barons, if you come, my life is yours. Hopefully you won't kill me. Yeah, I'm really getting the impression that people are worried that I'm going to kill off my squires. Uh, to be fair, I really like that because I think they squires should all have a little bit of fear. Um, fear in them. It helps keep them you know, motivated and on task. All right. So that is, let's see, what do we got? Not entirely sure what we're gonna do with things that are red. We're gonna have to find it, figure out a system for that. I guess we could just toss them. So I have the one maybe, which maybe maybe Santa will come. Everything else was pretty much addressed. So let's just do this. So these are all red. Boom, boom, boom. All right. So as you guys can see, a lot more organized here. Uh, you can drop off the books either in my mailbox or at uh, Death Killer's house, which is right outside the slums portal. Uh, look for the upside down house. Uh, open it up on what it's going to read. I'm probably going to rotate around um, and just keep hugging Q and A. I love Q and A. I really, I really do. Um, but hey, there's problems. Things come up. Uh, zero promises. Absolutely zero promises that anything will come of this if you ask for something. But uh, again, like I always say, the worst thing that's going to happen is nothing, uh, which is exactly what happened if you didn't ask. Uh, someone needs to go to jail 
Uh, court cases are a little tricky on organizing those things, but definitely if you have something of interest um, and can probably be around on the weekends, there might be something we can work out. Um, but hopefully you guys uh, like the new mail system. going to open this up to the public, except for the downstairs area, because that's not for them. Um, this way, they can... Oh, wait, let's just do this. And... There we go. All right. So now, it's officially open. All right. Thanks for watching. And hopefully you guys send in some mail. I look forward to it.